up and today is changing a stock inductor in the Jim Dunlop wire pedal and changing it to a facial inductor. The reason for changing the stock inductor to a facial inductor is because these are the inductors that they used during the 60s and 70s and people like Jimi Hendrix had one in like his uh, wire pedal and I think these give a sort of cleaner sweep through the frequencies rather than the stock one that's in there currently. And as it says on the packaging, it's the holy grail component of wire components. Okay, so again you have to take off the uh, rubber feet uh, to take the backing plate off and get to the PCB. Next you have to unscrew and remove both jack input bolts. Okay, so you can see the uh, stock inductor just there on the PCB. Uh, it's that huge black component that's in the middle uh, between the two uh, jack inputs. So now you have to unscrew this screw, which is the ground connection for all the components um, in the pedal and all the components on the PCB. So now if you remove the wire and connector plug, uh, so you can see here that this is the uh, stock inductor that we're taking out. And uh, if you notice on the back, um, these four points here um, are where the feet are soldered into. Okay, so the best way that I've realised in taking the stock inductor out is to um, go around with the solder and iron, uh, melting each of the four points and pulling just a little bit on the inductor from underneath um, until you edge it out completely. So now that you've taken out the inductor, uh, you can now see where all of the holes are uh, on the PCB where the new inductor will be able to go. So if you notice that the stock inductor has four legs and the new facial type inductor only has two. If you look at the back of the PCB, you can see that the four holes in the middle are where the stock inductor came out of. And uh, if you notice that to the right of that, there's two adjacent holes that are joined together by solder. And these are uh, where the new facial will sit. Uh, as the legs are slightly further apart than the stock one. Okay, so what I'm doing here is uh, pushing up the phasal uh, with my thumb from underneath and melting the solder on top to push the leg through and also applying solder at the same time uh, as it's melting. So you can put the PCB back into the pedal, put screw back in, jack bolt back in, Attach a plug and play it back on. Wait and see if that made it sound any better.